is under attack. Radiant victory. Bloody fantastic. Hello everybody, my name is Good Boy, and welcome to a video on cheating. It gets more and more perverse all the time, and there's really need to do something about it, sharpish. Um, I want to make a special mention in today's video as well. If you do have any concerns about someone cheating or games where you've been screwed over by cheaters, please do get in touch with me, either by email or commenting on my videos or whatever. Uh, and I will happily... Uh, investigate if you, if cheating is taking place and even do videos or make coverage on it and that kind of thing. So I just want to put that out there now. Um, but before we do begin the video, like, subscribe, share, and please do check the uh, links I've placed in the description by clicking on them. It helps to support my channel. So please do that if you haven't already. So uh, this is this is a, fr a fan that sent me in this information and I, I, I felt compelled to cover it yet again. So this is the Chinese hacking cheat. And I, the first game I got here it's a 12 minute game. <laughs> and this is just straight for the jugular, this one. There is, there's no messing around with this. It's just like, cool, as soon as it is humanly possible to push and kill, we will. And, and that is literally what they did, did more or less consistently as a team. Um, so if you, if you look at the, look at the, the game setup, um, this is all, by the way, this is all solo queue. Uh, you have Husker, it has a bit of a stomping game, clearly knows what he's doing, probably doesn't deserve it probably shouldn't be in that bracket because he's quite good and then um, uh, in conjunction with Lycan they secure tower after tower then they just take out mid racks and then just go for a finish there were two disconnections in there and that's fine but ultimately um, a very very quick game so you have one game like that and you think oh well you know that, that's that's completely fine until you have your next successive game afterwards to find exactly the same Chinese language uh, players are in the same match again on the same side on the same team. Hmm, how suspicious. And they do exactly the same thing. This time it's Husker, Lone Druid and Drow. I think one of their other Chinese friends managed to actually get ranked up with them this time. <laughs> I guess that cheat isn't perfect. Uh, and then once again with tremendous levels of damage. Admittedly they took a little bit longer than a lazy, lazy approach. No, they didn't. No 12 minute games here, no 20 minute games, which even by the Dota standards is fast. And once again, uh, get ourselves a few little kills and then set of racks, end the game, job done, 20 minutes. It's disgusting, <laughs> in a way. Now, of course, we have covered this before, but for those of you who haven't heard about it before, this is the Chinese language cheat. So in Europe or North America, so North America I think in this case, uh, what ends up happening is, um, people put down their second language preference or their primary language preference is Chinese, but then they play in servers where there's basically no Chinese players. And that, so SEA and China, those two servers make sense for have Chinese people in there. Maybe even in India a little bit, you know. But Europe and North America, no, no, no. We're quite some distance away from the Chinese at this point. So of course, because there's so few Chinese players, if you pick the right time of day, you and your friends can all search at the same time in the same Discord group chat or whatever. Um, all as independent ranked heroes, and because your language preferences is Chinese, they go, oh, look, they all have the same Chinese language preference. Great, we'll put them all together. And there's your pre-made team in solo queue. Now, let me just explain to you, in case you think, well, that's not that much of a cheat. No, that's a major cheat, because obviously if you've got a pre-made coordinated team, they will destroy you, especially if they do it professionally, which is kind of what these guys are doing. This is a pre-made plan, they know what they're doing, and so their objective is simple. I need to boost this account by 500 MMR and that will pay me X amount of dollars. Uh, that's going to take me, well, if you know, if you get 12 minute games, but let's, let's say you do it three or four times an hour. Yeah, so let's, let's be conservative. Let's say you do it three times an hour, you, you can do that. Okay, you do it three times an hour, that's 150 MMR per hour. And you want to boost someone by 500 MMR, so that takes about a day. And someone's going to pay 50, 100 dollars for the, for the privilege. That's quite a lot of money in most countries, all right? I mean, to be honest, if I, could, if I could boost like that, which I would never do anyway for ethical reasons, but let's say I did. Someone say, oh yeah, can you boost my account in a day for $100? Or even $50? It's like, mm, yeah, I've got a few hours, why not? You know, and I live in a developed country. Like, if you go to like 
countries without the same kind of economy, like for example, in the Philippines, where if someone says, yeah, play Dota for the day for $150. <laughs> They'd be like, yeah, sold, <laughs> done. <laughs> you know, uh, it's just it's just too good of money to turn down. Now, of course, it's not naturally that generous, but, but you get the gist. So, um, so obviously it's lucrative. People will pay through the nose for boosted MMR. Uh, and so uh, this allows people to do that really, really easily. It's like, oh yeah, my solo MMR. Uh, it allows sets it up, and, and the key thing is, it's efficiency, all right? These boosters don't care. Like, they know they'll win. They're like, yeah, I'm way better than all these players. It's, it's very likely I'll win. What they want to do is do it in a timely and efficient manner. Not only do they want to guarantee success, they also want to do it quickly. And that's why you get these games uh, being how they are. So, and, and, and like I say, just Husker and Lone Druid, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Lone, Husker and Lone Druid or Husker and Lycan alone can win games in 12 minutes. Like, that, that, that sums up what's going on there. Now, you can learn some stuff from here. And please note that all the pushing heroes and put them all together. Husker, Lone Druid, Drow, Lycan and Shadow Shaman, all on one team. GG. I mean, game over. Right, or at least in theory, you know, if you have half a brain between you, maybe you can you can do it. And if you can all queue with Chinese as your second language preference and see if you get put on the same team, winner winner chicken dinner. Anyway, so that's the uh, that's the messed up, fake, irritating way in which the game is functioning right now, and it's a problem. But the bigger problem, if I'm honest, is the whole Valve issue, which is. Despite the game has been released since 2013, it was actually released before then, um, and all this time, we still don't have a report cheating button. Does not, does that, like most games, have a function that allows you to report cheating, but Valve decided that for Dota, one of the most well-known games for cheating, doesn't actually have a report cheat button. Hmm. So Auto Chess has been around for about three or four months. They already have a report cheat button, and yet Dota doesn't. Now, I don't know about you, but that seems wrong to me. Does it seem wrong to you? It seems wrong to me. So that's Dota. But um, once again, we need to petition Valve. Please, for goodness sake, put a stupid cheat button in, okay, so we can start reporting. And then you can cover things like scripting or boosting or um, teaming in games where in which they are not in the same team with strict solid queue matchmaking or other options in there as well. All right, very simple, straightforward process. And the idea is, isn't to get, put someone in low priority. I don't think you should put you in low priority. The idea is, is that once they get enough of these uh, report cheating uh, button for being, you know, whatever particular cheat they're doing, then uh, Valve takes notices, notice of them, reviews them and maybe gets rid of them or, you know, issues bans and stuff like that. So, um, you know, that could work and that would also help alleviate a lot of this boosting because as soon as you get an account, if you're trying to boost an account <laughs> and then you get nailed for grouping together, not only could the booster be like, oh yeah, sorry, we took your account, but now your account's been banned because we boosted it, that wrecks the entire process. And the problem is, that's, that is exactly the issue that's going on here, is that we don't, there, is, there isn't a meaningful report system for that, and so they never get caught, and they can just keep doing it and doing it and doing it. Could you imagine what Dota would be like if we got rid of boosters? You know, I mean, I'd have to just stop smurfing maybe, but it's fine. Um, you know, I would, I would rather not smurf, and, and nobody else smurf either, and then we have a very clear system where in which all this boosting comes to an end, and you can finally play against people who are actually at the same level as you. Could you imagine that? So there you go. That's that's pretty much it, summed up in a nutshell. Um, comment below. Tell me about any cheating you've got, um, and 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 tell me what you think about this this utterly irritating issue, um, and uh, and all that jazz. Anyway, like, subscribe, share, and please check the description. Click on the links. I would love you to do that. Bros, do that. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.